All right, so I have to admit the whole Bud Light fiasco was well behind us. At least in terms of making content, I still refuse to drink anything related to Anheuser-Busch. But you know, Bud Light's relevancy, at least in terms of the news cycle, has pretty much vanished. Until today, that is. We have a Bud Light update. Pretty breaking, pretty significant. You guys might not believe this, but Bud Light just signed a massive, I think, $100 million ad deal or sponsorship deal, becoming the official beer brand of the UFC. Now, this, I have to admit, was not something I was expecting to happen, I mean, ever. But here we are. There's all kinds of different opinions. Some people calling to boycott the UFC. But we got to have a conversation about this. We got some stuff to get into. So let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so it's true. The UFC partners with Bud Light as embattled beer tries to fight off Dylan Mulvaney backlash. The UFC announced that Bud Light will be its official beer as part of their partnership with Anheuser-Busch following months of controversy surrounding the beer brand that erupted earlier this year. The mixed martial arts organization revealed Tuesday that it struck a multi-year deal with the beer giant involving the Bud Light brand, having a heavy presence in UFC's content and its broadcasts and online beginning in 2024. Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light were UFC's original beer sponsors more than 15 years ago. I'm proud to announce that we are back in business together, UFC CEO Dana White said in a statement on Tuesday, there are many reasons why I chose to go with Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light, most importantly because I feel that we are, quote, very aligned when it comes to our core values and what the UFC brand stands for. I'm looking forward for all the incredible things that we will do in the years ahead. Now that I'd say is probably a very odd statement if you know anything about Dana White's politics. The idea that Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light, at least the current iteration of the brand, have aligned core values values with the UFC seems a little bit odd to me. Essentially, I think what Dana White was saying was that the deal was just too good to refuse. And so it's a little bit of an interesting situation. Some people are pissed. Here's a statement by Mark Dice. The dumbest move in marketing aside from Bud Light partnering with Dylan Mulvaney is the UFC accepting them as their new official sponsor. Way to read the room, Dana White, moron. The crew at Timcast also seem quite confused. It, but but I... I, I... This is what, what what did what did Bud Light try to sponsor Harley Davidson? It didn't work. Yeah, no, didn't nothing work. worked. Do they really think? I I gotta be honest. I'm I'm willing to bet there's a lot of MMA guys who are going to be like f no. Pissed. Yeah, pissed. They're gonna and, be. They're, this is here's what I imagine. You're gonna hear like press conferences with some fighters, and they're gonna rag on Bud Light. It's gonna it's gonna be worse for Bud Light by trying to do this. For whatever reason, MMA guys tend to be particularly based, as it were, or red pilled. And vocal. It's all that whatever. testosterone and vocal. working have, out. You have you yes. seen the entrance that Donald Trump made at the last UFC yep. fight in Las Vegas? Dana White and Mark Wahlberg both said they've never heard anything like that. Oh, do you think? Do, do you think Donald Trump is going to walk back down hand in hand with Dana White holding a freaking Bud Light? <laughs> like you're right. Those fighters, I know a lot of them. You, you know, lose I live, like I live in Vegas. My buddy has one of the most successful MMA training centers and owns like half the fight in in the UFC these guys are not going to tolerate this and they have massive social media following but and I feel similar in a way you know I find it very odd I find it very misplaced but at the same time even though I think it's odd weird I think Dana White's statement is honestly full of crap at the same time at the back of my mind I'm an eternal optimist and so I'm trying to spin a positive here you know maybe it's not the worst thing ever maybe this is Bud Light's final admission of defeat you know who loses here it's the radical cultural Marxist gender obsessed gender ideology woke revolutionaries they lose big if you think about it Bud Light went from making them essentially their number one marketing priority, attempting to make Dylan Mulvaney a brand ambassador, they went from that to now partnering with the UFC, a sports organization that openly embraces Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump's essentially the biggest star of the UFC in a weird kind of way. When Trump enters the building, I mean, it's electric. <laughs> Not to mention another face of the brand happens to be Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is probably public enemy number three, I'd say, after Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson. The woke revolutionaries absolutely hate him. And so Bud Light's going from partnering with their... Let's get a social media sensation. It's hard to say something like that, but they're social media superstar celebrity leader. They're going from that partnership to now partnering and endorsing what was perceived as a based sporting organization. People obviously have a different opinion now. They are saying that UFC has gone woke, but the UFC's track record has been pretty badass. The way that I feel 
about a lot of things. Basically, I don't give a f is the answer to most things. Uh, everybody's too soft. Everybody's too sensitive about everything. The media are all full of sh I don't give a f When you look at these media people, who the f are they? What have they ever done? Right. What have they ever accomplished? Right, what have these people ever built or done? Nothing. Fucking zero. Less than zero. You know? Their opinion means jack sh to me. Not to mention, Dana White has a very personal relationship with Donald Trump. The Donald Trump that I know. In 2001, my partners and I bought the UFC, and it was basically considered a blood sport. State Athletic Commission didn't support us. Arenas around the world refused to host our events. Nobody took us seriously. Nobody. Except Donald Trump. Donald was the first guy that recognized the potential that we saw in the UFC and encouraged us to build our business. He hosted our first two events at his venue. He dealt with us personally. He got in the trenches with us and he made a deal that worked for everyone. I stand with Donald Trump. Let me tell you three things that I respect about this man. First, Donald has great business instincts. He supports businesses of all sizes. He'll make it possible for them to grow and succeed, which is the backbone of a strong economy. Second, Donald is a hard worker. This guy's gonna get up there, he's gonna roll up his sleeves. He will work with people, and he will put in the time to get things done. Third, for over 15 years, Donald Trump has been a loyal and supportive friend. And I know that if I needed Donald, he would be there for me just like he was when I first met him. And so look, the initial outrage is Dana White betrayed us. The UFC has gone woke. What a stupid decision. Fighters aren't going to like this. The fans aren't going to like this, which is true. All of that is true. But there is an interesting opportunity right now to take a formerly woke brand and to co-opt it in a way as our own. Now, is that going to happen instantaneously? Is Bud Light totally forgiven? No, of course not. But essentially what I'm seeing with this new story is that essentially Bud Light probably overpaid to have this partnership. It was a deal that Dana White and the UFC couldn't walk away from. And essentially what we're seeing is Bud Light groveling for our forgiveness willing to pay big bucks to signal to the world that they aren't woke and that they made a mistake and that they're coming back to the core branding that made them famous in the first place. It's a step. I mean, it's going to take years and years of not words, but of action for them to undo the damage that they've done. This is their first step. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I love the UFC. I won't be boycotting the UFC, but I will be paying very close attention to this relationship and especially to Bud Light and their marketing campaigns moving forward. The deal is done. I'm not involved. Dana White and the UFC thought this was an appropriate decision. It either is or it isn't. Let's just see what happens. Let's try to have an open mind. This just seems like a huge loss for the woke revolutionary left in the ongoing culture war. That's the way that I'm interpreting it. It's almost like a I am the captain now moment. Listen, woke lefties, I am Bud Light now. It is mine. It is ours. Obviously not, but hopefully you get the point that I'm making. I'm not going to drink the beer, but I'll put a big L in the left's loss column and just patiently wait and see what happens the new face of bud light donald trump dana white and joe rogan who would have thought <laughs> all right that's what i got for you guys this is one of those videos where i'm gonna ask you to comment let me know what you guys think in the comment section do you love it do you hate it are you more neutral like i am just kind of waiting to see what happens let me know your thoughts leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe to the channel if you feel like staying here thanks for watching friends and i'll see you on the next one